What's going on, y'all? What the fuck? I don't even know why they did that like that. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? We are back. We are back again for another Real Talk podcast, y'all. I am back. It's Saturday night. I'm here with my sisters, the baby one and then the baby baby one. And okay, y'all been asking about them. There they at. Alki Queen and Jada Smokes. How y'all been? It's been a minute. I got some new earphones. I think I'm doing something professional and shit. How y'all been, baby sisters? What y'all doing and what y'all drinking on tonight? Um, Give y'all a little ASMR. I got my wine. Cherry Pepsi as if it's something new. I think you're muted, Jackie. Alki. No, I just couldn't hear the clack clack. Yeah, no clack clack. There you go. Clack clack clack. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, what you sipping on, Alki Queen? Because you know you know to have your good little cocktail. I did. I made a cocktail. This is a totally watermelon-based cocktail. That's actually like fresh watermelon cut up in the in the little gallon thing in the refrigerator. Okay. I watermelon you, you vodka. Know. Watermelon mm. vodka. Uh, the Jack Daniels. Um, Watermelon punch. Oh, okay. Okay. Arizona watermelon tea. Mm, watermelon on watermelon on watermelon. Okay, the coochie gonna be extra sweet. That just right. it just seems a little a little too Mm-mm. artificial for me. You know what? I you have, never have a enough party. I have a party coming up on June 29th because it's my anniversary on the 30th. Party at my house. Okay, and what's on the 27th? Happy birthday. Okay, that part. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, Double digits. She's going to be 44. Still fine. Identical numbers. numbers. Anyways, I am trying different mixes out. Um, Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking I have three different big old party size gallon things. So I could make three different drinks. Okay. So I'm just trying to think which three. So I don't think I'm going to go with this one. Um, okay, it's mainly I bet. I I just the one I'm say this. I need to say this. I know I'm cutting you off. I just feel like you might have a little bit of a problem. Well, her name is Alki Queen. What do you expect? So much better. Anyway, I- one thing that I'm gonna make for sure it's um my blue my blue juice. Ooh, and what is the blue juice? That doesn't sound it, healthy, and that that sounds especially. You know what? It sounds like you a hater because you can't drink no more. What is in the blue juice? I, I need to know that. It, it is Smirnoff Sours, the blue one. Mm-hmm. It was something else blue. I got to go back and check. I have it written down. Um, but. <laughs> Um, I know it has the blue raspberry calypso in it. Mm, I love that blue raspberry calypso. It is, oh, it's on and popping. And I'm but thinking see, this know, time. Oh, my bad. No, go I ahead. Was gonna, I was going to say this time when I make it, I'm going to put in like blueberries, raspberries, and lemons. Okay. That like does sound good. Type of- yeah, that's good. I'm not good on blue, like eating fresh blueberries or raspberries. To me, that oh, nasty. Raspberry color blue tastes horrible. I just like the flavoring of it, you know, especially blueberries. I like the flavoring, but to actually eat fresh blueberries, they don't taste. Yeah, the same. I'm not really a fan of fresh blueberries, but I love mm-hmm. fresh raspberries. The color blue. It's horrible. 
That's why you're so mean. That's why you have no joy in your life because blue is a joyous, it's it's a prosperity, you know? I it's have an outfit and coming abundance. that is and the color blue. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. What 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 is what is your outfit? Joy. What That's is your, your outfit and, and and the meaning behind the color have to do with the fact that Ooh. it tastes horrible? Then you clearly never had a blue raspberry calypso. I'm thinking that my that blue outfit that I got coming, I might wear that to my party. Bam, just like that. Make sure you send me some for my birthday too. I got June twenty seventh, baby. But but like I'm just trying to figure out like y'all say I'm mean and this is what y'all do. This is what y'all give me. But I'm I'm wrong. It sounds like you're a hater because you can't drink no more. Anyways, though, y'all, Diddy, (laughs) the diddler. (laughs) Nice segue. Speaking of some bad shit. So Rolling Stone did an article on him. It was like a seven-page article. Let me see Were if I can bored? find it while we're back here talking about it. And you know if the Rolling Stone do an article on your ass, that's it. That's oh, Ain't no coming back from that. And in the article, they talked about how they, out of 300 people that they sought out to give them, um, what was that? Basically, um, to talk about Diddy, over 300 people, um, there were, uh, I want to say 50 or a little bit more than 50 people that agreed to speak with them about it. Some people wanted compensation, which they were not going to do. Other people um, said that that was a part of their life that they wanted to, you know, rid themselves of. They didn't want anything to do with it anymore. And then there were some other people who downright were afraid to, they didn't want to say anything because they were afraid of any sort of repercussions that may come their way. My whole thing is this here, like how they said when this tape came out of him with Cassie, it's something bigger than what we all know. Okay. I'm waiting to see what sort of backlash comes from this because this shit here is crazy. I can't remember the last time. I want to say Bill Cosby. Oh, oh, I take that back. R. Kelly. I was going to say, I can't remember the last time we, it was a scandal like this scandalous about a black celebrity, but I forgot. Yeah, there was R. Kelly and there was Bill Cosby, but ain't no coming back from this for Diddy. He is literally over his legacy is over everything that anything and everything it's over it's over it is over in every way shape form or matter for that man and quite honestly the only people i feel bad for is his daughters and i know that's probably so fucking mean to say but the only people i feel bad for is his daughters his sons Um, knew what the hell he was doing but his daughters So my question for Diddy is you paid what 50 grand for that video? Mm-hmm. You paid 50 grand then just to get caught later. Cause your stupid ass kept the video. I'm sure what they was... found it in the police raid. Of course. Of course. So um what was the point? You, if you just wanted to throw money away, you could have given it to me. I'd have put it to better use. I mean, because because why why pay? First off, fifty grand for a video like that—that's some motherfucking steal. <laughs> Back then, too. No, we really that was twenty what twenty sixteen. It really should have been worth more than that. It should have been a, a lot more. Yeah. yeah. So again, it been way 50, more grand, yeah. 50 grand for a you video like that. You clearly got then, somebody yes. struggling. Yeah, like that was that was a steal. And you showed your appreciation by keeping it. Having it obviously readily accessible to obtain through a, at, at least a raid. Like that and shit you know would have been on. That shit would have been like on 
The only copy would have been on my external hard drive that I keep with me 24-7. But this is the thing, though, that I don't, I don't get. Why would you keep a, vi- just like with R. Kelly and a lot of these nasty fucking pedophiles and pedos and, and, and perverts, and why just not would you criminals. keep the evidence the because actual they like video to relive of, you it. Commi- of you committing the cr- they want to relive it you can't you can't and and, and hold on hold on hold on not only do they want to relive it if they have continued access to said victim like in the case of diddy and cassie mm-hmm. further use to victimize said victim Make them watch. This is what I did to you. This is what I'm still doing to you type of deal or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, the reason why people like Diddy and R. Kelly kept the tapes was because they wanted to go back to that moment. Any moment in time. Okay, that's that's all well and fine. That's the when, stupidest shit you when, could ever do. When, it's, when the walls started to close in. I would have started destroying it, bonfires every night. I don't give a damn if we in LA in the middle of summer and we in a drought. Well, I would have been barbecuing that shit. Barbecuing every that day. Shit every freaking night. Let me tell you. I'm I, just saying. I, I can admit, I did a sex tape with my ex before. Now, my ex-husband, my ex from back in my 20s, okay? I've done a tape. And I kept the tape, like, once we broke up. But, baby, when we were done, done, and I moved, I cut that bitch up. After I cut it up, I literally burned the film part of it. And oh, that's then how you the yourself. plastic part, I went and dumped it in like different dumpsters and shit. So all the people, like you don't have to be a super sleuth to put that shit together to see me bending over, busting, busting open and all of that. You're not going to see it because literally the tape is destroyed. Okay. None of that. But, but my... Okay. My thing is like like Diddy, you blew up Kid Cuddy's car. You couldn't blow up this fucking video. But again, I can understand why he wanted to do that to Kid Cuddy though. Cause have you seen him? I'm saying he is fine. Kid Cuddy fine as hell. Have that's you not, seen that's him? Not like that's not like a Diddy problem. <laughs> that's why he blew up that nigga car. Oh, you you piping down. Diddy got a micro. I micro? feel like Diddy got a micro. That that's why he's that's why- yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. What are you just saying? No, I was just gonna say I feel like Diddy got a micro mini, like like the again, half of a pinky. Again, that's not like a him problem. They make attachments or whatever for that. That's why Carisha was saying he keep when 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 she did that little her little episode of Carisha, please. It was on like four or five episodes. She was talking about Diddy. She was saying a nigga just keep going and going and going and going like he don't stop. He keep going and going and going and going and going. Cause he be on them damn Viagra's and them Cialis and he he be on that that Tunchi. What they call it? That that Tunchi, the pink powder. He be on that pink booger sugar. He be out there doing that uh, shit. What? Y'all didn't hear that? That's part of the court documents. No, hunty. Like a good... used, like pink. I've been unplugged. I well, know this is when I, it first know. came out, y'all. Oh my no, god! No, I'm confused. I don't know what, like, for real, like, what, what's pink? The we even talked about I this guess. on the panel. That's, that's I don't remember. You really know bad. how much? You, so you the how pink tunchi is what they call the pink cocaine that Diddy was having. His that's that's one of the things he did. It was pink cocaine. It was called tunchi. Carisha okay. was saying on her show, Carisha, okay. please, that whenever they fuck around, he just keep going and going and going. Like he don't stop. He always he, like he can just fuck back to 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 back. To back okay, he don't stop. You know what? I'm that pink, pink shit. I'm not even gonna lie. When I first read the court documents and that part came up, I thought somebody was like beyond stupid. So I'm mm-hmm. like pink cocaine. I've never heard of that, and I I ain't never heard of it before to this shit to the to Diddy and the freak off speech. <laughs> because I'm like I've never heard of, but I meaning you know, at the same time, like apparently there's white marijuana. I had a headache. I need to take me up. 
white marijuana. We'll picture. I will get a picture and I will send it to you ladies privately. Yeah, I don't want that. That's I don't want that right. either. Uh, but uh, imagine my surprise. Look, no, 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 no. Because when somebody asked me the other day, hey, do you know anybody who wants it was white something? Snowball. What? Snowball. Right. I, no, I don't I, I don't want no, but but Jada, you know when somebody says, "Hey, I, I want a snowball," you you like you you yeah I you know you. I don't. So when I don't want to make out when I with heard that, that when I when I heard that in my mouth, I don't. <laughs> when I, heard I don't. That, wanna... I was thoroughly confused. No, no. Listen, when I heard that, I was thoroughly confused, and I had to look at the person. And I was I, like, "Wait, do you, you you and I both know what that means? Does this person know what that means?" I and then he pulls out the a picture pulls out a picture and apparently it is little nuggets of 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 the stuff that alleged like this stuff allegedly grew from the earth allegedly mm -mm. but it's white i mm -mm. again appreciate the compliment but mm -mm. i don't i don't want to keep it in my mouth that long <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't trust that i don't i would never i would never <laughs> never <laughs> I'm not smoking a no white weed. Oh hell no! That sounds like a whole other level. That sounds like that I, oleander. I'm that not ready for. Like probable cause. And I'm an old that school. That sounds bitch. like modus operandi. Okay. <laughs> I'm an old school. No, bitch. that is that nah, is a that is that is uh the people's no, evidence you. B. No, thank you. And so again, that, that, no. the white stuff is fentanyl. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough. That's all we need right there. The white stuff is a fanny. That's it. So again, imagine my surprise. So like now you tell it and explaining this, but okay. Now I have another question. What makes it pink? I don't know. They ain't get that far into it. Ooh. And quite honestly, you know what? Pink cocaine is enough. That's a that's a whole other ballpark right there for me. When I heard about that right there, now, I was like, the, inquiring mm. minds want to know because honestly, the the white weed scares me. I don't want to touch it, but yeah, the pink I, 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 I'm not touching that. I ain't the touching pink that cocaine the honestly home. got me intrigued because now I'm just thinking about like the pink powdered sugar you could get at Walmart. She for like, <laughs> I was gonna say it's a it's, it's a biohazard. <laughs> I'm just saying, no. y'all. So the next thing I want to talk about real quick, your boy Trump is guilty. Thank God, you pounds. know. Thank God, he is found guilty. And I don't know how true it is or not, because, you know, TikTok be full of shit. TikTok said that his probation officer is a black woman. Again, <laughs> I don't know how true it is. And oh, they had, yeah, that's they had left every voice and scene mm. playing in the background music. Wouldn't that just be serendipitous if he does have a probation, and a probation officer is a black woman? Okay, I know he's not going to jail, but we can wish. How much time is wish, Can't we? I haven't gotten that far, but honestly, let's get through the appeals process first because he's already vowed to appeal it all the way up to the Supreme oh, Court. So and we already know the Supreme Court is majority of his people's, but then it'll set a precedent for the Honestly, it could go either way. I mean, unless the people, his 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 cronies on the Supreme Court are comfortable in the fact knowing that their jobs might not be there for them in the next few years, then go ahead. Do y'all. You like it? I love That's it. I'll thing. probably be in if, Croatia. So can he still run for a pres for presidency since he's he can run, he just guilty? can't vote. He, he can run, he can. but he can still he run to be still. president. He can't run. He can still be president. He can't vote for himself. Where does it say in the Constitution that you have that you can't be president because you're a convicted felon? Oh, I think we've already been through this before. No, we've been I through this, but have we been, it has no. not been. No, I think I think like you and I have had a conversation like oh, this. Oh, yeah, you and I have had this conversation privately, but again, you and I do not have the same advantage that he does. This is true, but I feel like I am definitely more likable. 
way more likable without oh, the criminal just, record. And I still couldn't even get it. That just blows my goddamn mind. If this man becomes the president again, I can't handle it, y'all. I cannot. I can't handle it. I can't. I why can't handle think, that shit. Why do you I think can't handle that I'm, shit? Why do you think I'd be like, I'm just, can, can we just get the giant asteroid? Can we hit the giant reset button? I am over. No, this I'm, I'm, I'm really going out for the shit. aliens. Nah, I I'll, I'm I will, really I will see for the, the aliens. I will. I am willing to see the invasion in the next life. I'm. I am so Ooh, good on this. No. Movie. Side note. Side note. A movie mm. you guys should watch. No, thank you. No, it's a zombie movie. <laughs> no, thank you. What is it called? The. <laughs> oh my god. I can't bro, what's it called? Bro, what's it called? No, because I had it in my head and then you said that and it made me freaking forget. Oh, that's that's so sad. <laughs> it has Love Bill it. Murray in it and it made me feel kind of icky watching it, but Adam Driver's in it, so I guess that made Oh, it I know fun. what you're talking about. I've already seen it. Fuck you then. Well, what's the name of it? Tell me. I don't want to see it. It really doesn't matter. It's on it's on Hulu. The Dead Don't watch. Die. Uh, and it's on um Max. Oh, it's on Netflix. Oh, Max, whatever. It doesn't matter. Watch it on it. Max. It's better. No ads. All right, I'm going to watch it on there. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm going to watch it on there. Um, okay. Did y'all hear about this story? This story right here was fucked up. There was eight guys. They were on a... And what makes it even more fucked up is because I love American Airlines. I fly American Airlines. Mm -hmm. Granted, wasn't American Airlines involved in 9-11? Probably. I think so my thing is, if humans were meant to fly, we would have wings. Back. That so is I'm, true. That's all I'm going to say. That is true. I mean, but it does so American make it more Airlines, convenient. American Airlines is being sued, okay? This was after eight black men were kicked off a of flight for offensive body odor. The men were not traveling together. They were not seated together and they did not know each other. And they were the only black people on the plane. Now, they, according they to the Daily like Mail, flag. this happened in um, January. The eight men who never met, they all got on the flight. Um, this was at the Phoenix airport. It was a five hour fight. They were going to JFK in New York. The suit says that while they were sitting in different sections of the aircraft, a white male flight attendant complained of offensive body odor within the aircraft. And all of them were rounded up and taken off before getting off the aircraft at Phoenix, Phoenix, Gene Joseph and fellow passenger Xavier Veal and Alvin Jackson had each other flown from Los Angeles on a connecting trip, observing that all the black people were being evacuated, but none of the white passengers, Bill made the decision to videotape the event on his phone, showing staff at the gate area struggling to find them another flight. One man slammed the incident as unfucking professional. Hell yes. Now, this ain't no random pick. A fellow African-American airline desk worker agreed with them in the group saying that the incident was racially motivated. Now, out of all eight of the men, I believe it's only three of them that are filing the lawsuit. Fuck that shit. I be on that damn uh, goddamn lawsuit as well. And like one of the guys was saying, it, like it felt embarrassing because they made them all get off. And now after they couldn't find them another flight, they just ended up putting them all back on the same damn flight in the first place. So then, like the guy said, you got all these white folks looking at you pissed off because you're making them late for their flight, which it ain't their goddamn fault. And it, this is my thing. And I'm I'm going to say it. This might be real stereotypical, but I'm going to say it. I was like, okay, did they smell like weed? Like that them niggas, all of them just so happened to pregame and not even pregame together. They all pregamed individually and they just all collectively came smelling like one big ass pound or like. I mean, sometimes God be looking out like that. You know. <laughs> I'm just saying. But what was the odor? What was the it said offensive body odor? Because you know, I done smelled some I done smelled some good skunk before that smell like body odor, but it be some good ass skunk. 
that's what I'm saying. Like, but you know what? At the end of the day, it wasn't even the the eight gentlemen that was forced off the plane in the first place. So I think American Airlines need to go over their hygiene policy with some of their employees. That's the that girl. Oh, I'm gonna say. So, um, also American Airlines, while you are retraining your airline staff on proper hygiene etiquette, run them eight people, them ducats. All of them. All them all monions, okay? All, all of them monions. All right. And 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 to the to the employee that knew that your ass smelled like Overcooked hot grits and feet and, and you dookie knew your bones. Shit. Okay, and you still came to work like that. And you still came to work like that. Shame on you, knowing that you <laughs> were going to be in a close, close enclosure with other people. How dare you? Cabin pressure just got it smelling all kinds of ass. Clap cheeks in there. How dare you? Deodorant is not optional. For your line of work, person. All right, I'm off my soapbox. That was it. <laughs> You're um, muted. Oh, yeah, no, I wasn't saying anything. I was looking for something. Um, so I think the smell was um, BBC. And the white male flight attendant was uh, intimidated. I don't think what. What is your definition of BBC? Exactly what you think it is. I mean, <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> he he just he smelt the allure of 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 black kings and got intimidated. Hold oh, uh, you should not be saying anything like that based off of your dating record, bitch. Well, my dating record has nothing to do with what happened to those gentlemen. But you okay. calling them black no. king feels weird coming from your mouth. Okay, what's your point? Okay, I it's still true. Oh no, it's still true. So, I'm not I'm not minimizing okay, the truth. So why, I'm acknowledging so how weird you, this is coming from you. Why are you trying to tear me down? I'm not tearing you down. It, it kind of seems like you are, though. I love you. And I don't think you do, though. That's that's the sad part. Mm. But yeah, hopefully they get some good ass money from that. And I'm, I'm that that pisses me off about American Airlines because I love the hell out of American Airlines. Okay, I always get good deals when I fly with American Airlines, and plus, I always got enough room when I ride with American Airlines. I ain't got nothing bad to say about them. Now it's that goddamn Southwest I didn't have problems with before. Goddamn. But you know what else is my favorite? Delta. Baby, I love me some Delta. I mm -hmm. love flying Delta. I remember one time, what airport was that I was in? I can't remember what airport it was. Was it Louisville Airport? I feel I can't even remember. Anyways, bitch, I walk right up in the Delta Sky Lounge like I'm like I'm a member in everything, child. This is some years ago. They didn't say nothing to me. Yeah, it was at probably first, Google. listen, I thought that it was just another part of the bar. And so everywhere I walk, I walk like I'm supposed to be there any goddamn way. You know, you can tell by the way I walk, I think I'm the shit. So <laughs> I just walked on up in there because I thought it was another section of the bar. I switched my ass right on up in there girl went and sat down at the goddamn bar and was just ordered me up a little old drink and conversating nobody asked me nothing Boston asked so, me I want me another drink which airlines or do all the airlines use the Boeing planes I don't know I've never, I, I don't know you probably you flew sure on a Boeing are. plane before. Mm -hmm. it, it so that matter. is my point. And I have flown Allegiant and... Did I fly Southwest first time I saw you? It doesn't matter because the payments were meant to fly. We would have wings. No, I think it was Spirit. Let's just uh, say I'm never people. that. Let's just <laughs> she said that. Ooh, now you're not, not you turning your nose up at Spirit. I ain't never going to fly this shit either. Let's but just stay I, on the ground. 
I flew Allegiant this last time because, you know, I got two kids and a husband. I was leaving at home. Bitch had the budget. But we don't need to be flying. Let's just stay on the ground. Girl. Look, I'm going to fly if I want to see my sister that lives a whole time zone away. Just plus drive. hours. Just drive. Just drive. Just drive. We don't have wings. Two days? We, we two don't days? have That's wings. That's my three-day vacation? But we don't have wings. I suggest you get more PTO. I got wings in my dreams, so I guess that counts. It doesn't. It really can't because the the dreamland wings don't get you into real life, wherever the fuck you want to go. Just stay on the ground, people. Sound like you were hated because you had never been on a, on a plane. That's what it actually. Like I have me. been on a plane before. I have. I have. That's why I'm saying let's just stay on the ground, people. A tour does not count. No, no, no. It was it was round trip. Y'all want to hear something stupid in the news? This dumbass teacher. I think she was probably doing this shit for her OnlyFans. This had to, this looks like some OnlyFans shit right here. Some voyeurism OnlyFans ass shit right here. I ain't mad at it, bitch. Get your money. So Quinell X, everybody knows who Quinell X is, baby. Whenever it's something going down in the hood, why it's something. Why are you lying? I've he got his ass right there. Well, you you ain't black enough. That's why. Everybody <laughs> blackity black know who Quinell X is. Well, okay? that's not true. I still have my black card. Down, so that is that is slanderous. That is defamation, ma'am. I still have my black card. I'm going to need you to apologize. <laughs> Quinell X, he slams his elementary teacher. This bitch recorded herself playing with her titties and busting over, bending over, busting over. In her classroom where she worked with her name badge on. You can see what a bitch worked. Sound like someone wanted to get caught. Facts. Y'all, this this just don't make no damn sense. And elementary school teacher on top of that. When parents send their children to school, they believe their teachers are people of the utmost highest character. But now we got a teacher in the classroom on school hours, stripping down butt naked, bending over and showing everything on the video. And all you could see was cellulite hanging in pubic hair. This is a disgrace and a shame that this is the type of educator and teacher that is in the classroom. And she made multiple videos. This woman Look, obviously has no ID, work ID, bag. she needs yeah. psychotropic medication. She pulls out her breast and she's juggling them. Juggling Looks like she's about to fall over. About to fall then over. she bends over and pulls down the pennies. I'm spreads spinning. her cheeks. I'm not lying. I'm telling you what's on the video. Spreads her cheeks. This is madness. When but why do you guys say it like that? Like he given detail as if he had <laughs> seen it more than once. <laughs> That's why he was that's actually why he was able to give you uh, a, a detail <laughs> like he was because he play by play. He's seen it. He's seen it all the way through. This is my thing. First of all, you know, hey, I'm here for the only fans. I'm here for you making your content, all that good stuff. So I am here for it. Get your side money. But bitch, Cardinal Rule number one. You don't put your face in that shit. And if you do put your face in it, you don't do this shit at your job with your work badge on in your classroom where you supposed to be teaching babies. Yeah, like why are you standing in the way of your own bag? Like, like that that is legit it's supposed to be your day job. So like your bread and butter. Why would and you, you know some, why would you mess some, that up? Some stupid shit like that, fuck around and, and make your half your ass have to register as like a, a sex offender or some shit like that. Just cause you don't went and did some stupid shit like that. That's the kind of shit you gotta worry about. Not saying that that could happen, but it's stupid enough to where this shit it you could. did is stupid enough to where it could happen because you because. did that on the grounds of an elementary school where these kids are supposed to be learning from. Like, and you uh, put go up to the camera. <laughs> With your whole work badge dangling like this in the camera, girl, so we can read your name. And like, like any any kid could have walked past their door and bam skis. 
It'd be like, is that Miss Santiago with her with her butt in the air? Yes. Why her why her orangutan titties hanging outside of her ugly sweater? Again, I ain't mad. She she you know what I'm saying she getting her little her little um side hustle on. But was I it, ain't mad not at worth the fact. it. It's not worth it. It was not worth it. And it would have been worth it had she at least at least do it at home. Bitch, do it at home with your work badge off, you big I dummy. Everybody the, see you work for the, the... Yeah, hold up. Hey, hey, the, back it up. The, if least, you, if you the are, least you could have done is take off your badge. Take off your badge. Everybody see you work for the Cucamonga Independent School District now because your ass done put your badge and shit all up in the damn... in the camera. Somebody wanted to get caught. She wanted to collect dumb. an appointment. Oh, that's dumb. No, she, she can't even collect. collect an appointment because she was doing no. eggs on school well, property. See, obviously, obviously, oh. she wasn't smart enough to realize that this is dumb in the first place. She ain't smart enough to realize, hey, if I get fired for doing this, I'm not going to qualify for unemployment. Okay, the elevator don't go all the way up. Hopefully she's making a good little bag off of OnlyFans, uh, whatever, wherever she many might now. Is, uh, Custom clips, wherever she uploading this to. Yeah, her. Because I hope you ain't just doing this for Twitter or for X. She's under the category of dummy. Oh, apparently, tags dummy. Hey, 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 apparently, apparently, you can watch on Reddit. Duh, I ain't know that. (laughs) You're girl square. I. You Listen, I get weird. all the good porn from Reddit and from Twitter. Slash, oh, yeah. I no, <laughs> yeah, Twitter definitely is filthy. But... Twitter is amazing. I have two different. Uh, no, of I know. Course, I have I like know. my regular I Twitter. Twitter clearly, I wasn't talking about Twitter. I was talking about yeah. Reddit. I got my. I my, my know that. Twitter. <laughs> That's Twitter. Is what I be popping. You're but yeah, Reddit too. Somewhere. Reddit, you just gotta go through too much shit. I feel like Twitter, yeah. You just, just no, yeah, Reddit, you gotta go through a whole lot. There's yeah. a lot of unless you're really into you. like just like stills pictures. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, if especially if you're trying to like you're trying to get some mom, get some popping real quick, you can't go through Reddit because I mean mm-hmm. it's, it's too long. You just go on to Twitter, type in what you gotta get through. Bam, yeah. bam, take care of your business. But they spell ours. Like like they do A R S C. Why do people start doing that? I'm new to that. We don't even say ass. ass no more. They say ours. Well, be- because first of all, it's the way the British say it, and here some places will still censor you if you say ours. ass. That's stupid. So Why that's the way to get around use- censorship. Why can't we just use no, normal? You, no, you want to know what's stupid? You want to know what's stupid? Fuck shit, damn ass, bitch. All that good shit. What what no. what were you gonna say? What what's stupid is um recording people... only fan contacts, only fan contents with your work badge on. Yes, that but also in telling... the classroom where you work at. Yes, that but also the kids telling... was probably them kids was probably at in lunch, specials at or recess, something at lunch. Yeah, at either at lunch and specials or some some shit. And you um, in there trying to make content, nasty bitch. Um we should stop telling white folk. To go to Lake Lanier, we should just let them go. Let them let them jump in Lake Lanier. It's stupid. It's stupid to tell them not to do it. Let me write down Lake Lanier because there's a movie or something. Wasn't it a movie or something like that that was either on Tubi? Tubi, probably. I feel like it was on Tubi. It was a movie about Lake Lanier. It it's like you know what I it could yeah, be on HBO Max linear. for all I care. I just feel like they are hell bent on being like, hey, look at this fun spot, even though um records show it's not not a fun that spot. Fun. Um, you can't so, pay me to go to goddamn Lake Lanier. No, as long as we stay on. The surface, just, yeah, like don't the get ground in the water. where there's green. No, actually, no, no, back up. She right, that whole place is haunted. Oh, I yeah. see what you're talking about. 74 year old man drowns in Lake Lanier after his seat becomes unbolted. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, wait, so, wait, wait, so, no, 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 wait, no. Shh, shh. 
I need to, read I to, need to hear that again. I need to hear the headline again. On Wednesday, the 29th, Matthew Mayo drowned in Lake Lanier while fishing in a bass boat at the age of 74. He was fishing with his wife when his seat became unbolted from the floor. Reports from the Georgia Department of Natural Resources confirm upon falling, Mayo drowned and did not resurface. It wasn't until the Hall County Fire Department used their remote operative vessel that Mayo was confirmed deceased. There are currently no reports on how his seat became unbolted. His wife did it. Um, or, 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 or. Let or, me stop this, or. man. The ancestors. That's real me. I mean, <laughs> I'm good. I mean, why would you even go husband. there? Because they're because they were they were. Why would you even go there? I mean, they were, oh, they were, oh, okay, the so, unseasoned. So the ancestors did that shit, um, because they want to keep being like, hey, Lake Lanier is this fun fun spot to go to even though it is not a fun fun spot i just feel like we should stop telling people not to go there if they want to go there go there we should just probably shut the fuck up and just watch from a safe distance i mean yeah darwinism survival of the fittest in this case survival of the smartest because that whole area but, and then also something. yeah because um you you can't you can't you can't do what was done there I think oh, happy is Pride cool. Month, y'all. I forgot. Happy, happy Pride Month. month. Yay. Yeah, it's happy first day of Pride. Month. We're all hey, queer you know, over here. Are, wait, are y'all? I know I am, but are y'all? Are you what? No, are are y'all queer? Haven't gone all the way, queer. but... Oh. Okay. I'm saying I haven't Anyways. gone all the way, but, you know, almost a few times. Who's there? Who's there? Um, you know, you know I've dipped in the lady pond before, I and the water I swear, too. But but don't call me poser because I'm afraid. The water is fucking murky. You know what I'm saying? It's already pissy in the Dayton pool. The lady pool is murky. There's goddamn algae in that bitch. There's algae and there's piranhas <laughs> in that bitch, and there's and chlamydia and chlamydia and there's sewage in that bitch. <laughs> like, you gotta be careful with that shit, bitch. You will really fuck around and find out. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to to throw that out there that um I'm not saying Please encourage you uh, encourage you. um going to Lake Lanier because you know that could be problematic in a legal mm. standpoint. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer. Um, I will say though, we should just stop trying to be that voice of reason because so so clearly people don't want reason i mean all my friends don't like to go swimming in nature anyway so i, hey, I can't swim, i ain't gonna do so that uh-uh fuck it <laughs> um i am i am a stereotype in that aspect i can't swim i don't know how so fuck it i'm not going to lake lanier i'm not going so, either and i have I no desire to want to learn good. i have so, no desire to want to learn to i'm lying i do either. i do want to go to georgia that's all well and cool. I just feel like we should save our breath. Okay. We 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 can say so say much other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we we could we could say so this much other say, stuff that would probably breath. hit different. That that would probably actually resonate and, and get through some people's heads rather than saying, Hey, you shouldn't go into Lake Lanier. People they don't want reason. They don't they don't want to hear smart stuff. They want to hear stupid shit. Hey, then that means we can't just go into this last story, then can we? I was just gonna say, you want to talk about some stupid shit? Let's let's get into some stupid shit. Let me pull up the last story for us to talk about. Fuck right here. I sent you he something. Is he is going to Zoom court. Hold on, I have to pull it up when I'm done with this one. He is going to Zoom court for a suspended license, right? But the motherfucker is driving on his way to actual court, okay? And then on top of that, you got a black judge. The black judge was looking like, are we fucking for real right now? And this is the type of shit, we can be our own goddamn, like, we can really fuck ourselves sometimes and not even realize that we fucking, fucking ourselves. But this is just goddamn, downright goddamn stupid. If this was my nigga, I would be so I would be so embarrassed. 
so he embarrassed. Wouldn't, he wouldn't be for long. No, we'd break up. We would oh have to. I would be so we would have to. Are you driving? Are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling, I'm pulling into my pulling doctor's into my office, office, actually. So You're trying to sound so professional. I'll, just give me one that. second. I'm parking Please. right now. I'm parking right now, sir. Look at the judge. Like, are we hey, fucking for real? You stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully <laughs> requesting an adjournment in this matter. Uh, Look, even a lot like so possibly just, just four weeks the court would allow. Can we just come back okay. in a couple weeks? My bad. So maybe I don't understand something. No, you this understand. is a driving while license suspended. That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving. And he didn't have a license. Nope. Uh not a brain cell between your eyes. his ears. No, not I'm at all. At yeah. Not at all. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. It's starting to come together. I don't even know why he would do that. So, defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. That part. And he needs to turn himself into the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. Now it hit him. Now he realized, oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> He's like, oh, are you my. driving? Oh, my. No, God. Wait, I got a question. I got a question. Like, I've never been in trouble, like, to that extent where the, all that shit right there. But couldn't he have just pleaded the fifth? Plead the fifth? It's <laughs> really no. mattered. It's in your he's face. Driving, he's uh -uh. driving while suspended, and the judge is watching the judge him is driving. Asking him a question. No, it doesn't matter. The judge is that. He could have been. Uh, I played the fifth. <laughs> I Ain't no plead the fifth on nothing. Your stupid ass. Not a got behind cell. a goddamn wheel and was really driving yeah, in no. Zoom. And then on top of that, you're supposed to be in court and you driving. Just and you be a real professional too. I am right. driving to a doctor's appointment. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I am right. pulling I, in and I am parked right, right now. Why do you have your customer, <laughs> service, you have your customer service voice on while you're doing driving while holding the goddamn phone and you on your way about to pull what in, you, sir? You broke ass couldn't even go to the dollar twenty five tree and get you a little. You're broke ass up, little phone stand that don't last you the length of your court day. I would have lied. I would have lied. I would have had, had my camera off. Just especially you know, if you would know, because if you really that close to the doctor's office, you could have had your camera off long enough to park. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. Just stall the judge. Hey, your honor, how you doing? Oh, like, oh, it's not on? Oh, wait a minute. My camera not on? Wait a minute. Hold on one second. Like, I don't know what's going on with this damn camera. Oh, wait, here I am. <laughs> That's it. I Just mean, like that, stupid ass. That nigga, he he deserves every it. every nigga it. time. Every and then on top of that, your stupid ass got to turn yourself in today by six o'clock. Stupid. Hey, at least day. at least the judge is giving him time to go to his doctor's appointment. The judge is right. Him more what time if it was hang himself? It was it was two o'clock, and, and now you got to turn yourself in in four hours. You, you I mean, the judge, judge could have it, no. The judge could have ordered his immediate arrest. No, the judge needed that time to to soak in the stupidity that had just scrolled across his. That I would have needed like I'd say, hey, uh, judge, immediate come on, recess. like a twenty minute recess. Immediate recess. Judge is going to the his own my own personal bathroom, I and need, I'm smoking I, I need to, the shit out of the fattest no, one. I need to take a shit first <laughs> because that hurt. That's like <laughs> that's the type of stupid you just you just it doesn't matter how big or how small. The turn is it just needs to come to out. Shit. It just needs to come out because you're oh, you're dumb. Yeah. Yeah. He gets every he he deserves everything that he gets. I don't feel bad for him. I don't feel bad you for him. You said me. you sent me something. Yeah, it's in the private chat. 
If I click on this, it might take me out of this screen that I'm in. Right click, open new tab. Let me see. Bruh, can't nobody do all that. Why don't you send it in the other one? Well, because I wanted to share it here. And then it's a TikTok <laughs> thingy. <laughs> Right. Why would you send a TikTok in the in the in the thing back here? I'm talking about you. Because I didn't know how what else to do. Hold on. I feel like you, Jada, are like recording this on another thing and you're gonna upload this somewhere else. I am not. Because I don't. Yeah, have it's making me go through too much. It's making me go. Oh my goodness! Here, then I'll do it. I'll do yeah, it. I'm not opening it up. I'm not opening it up. I think I can. Hold on. My hair looks yeah, super cute. Yeah, it's making me go too much. I'm not doing it. Hold on. <sighs> what was it anyway? What was it about? Oh, it was just um. Oh, Nick, no, I'm a bunch of bullshit. What you Look, like, can you see it? I can do my what own toes. It? I've been doing my own toes. Are them acrylic toes, bitch? Yes. No, I guess not. Okay, <laughs> fuck it. Oh wait, duh, my bad. Hold on. <laughs> I think you have to add it. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I know they got regular fingernails, but bitch, they got them for your toes. Yes. Wait, what? Damn, they got everything. Bitches can get eyes. They can get edges. Lashes. Nails. They can get well, hey, hey. Look at the lashes. A five days. Toenails. Damn, bitch. She coming with all the new joints. Yeah. Okay, let me see. What is this? What is this, girl? We're not saying he's sorry to a police officer. I was pulled over. Um, oh, here. He wrote me, over. me a ticket. He stood at the car. He Maybe. Was, An Alabama yeah. man faces jail time for not saying he's sorry to a police officer. I was pulled over. Um, <laughs> he wrote me a ticket. He stood at the car. He went moving in front of, from, from in front of my mirror on my car. And I kept asking him to move, and he wouldn't move. So I told him, eventually, I just told him, hey, man, get your ass out of the way, because I can, you know, I can go take my kids to school. They're already late because of you. Well, first of all, I want you to understand. Uh, anyway, i seen this. Listen, I can sum this up real quick, because ain't no GD must flip away. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> no, because I tried to take the screen off, but I didn't realize Janelle had already took the screen off, so it took yours off. My bad. Okay, you say ain't no goddamn way. What? I didn't even say that. I said ain't no GDMF and way. I'm going to do jail time because I didn't say sorry to no white lily ass motherfucking cop. I'm doing That's that jail I'm time. Saying. I'm doing that jail time you on my head. head. I, I look because on top on top of the non-apology, you're gonna get who the words, who the disrespect in the court. I'm ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm a, sorry, ooh. officer, that you got such a frail ass ego that you can't stand that you could only write me a black person off with only a ticket because I ain't got no warrants to make your quota for the month. I'm sorry, Mr. Officer, that you I, got such a frail ass ego that you can't stand to see me a black person in this nice ass new ass SUV that you can't even afford with your overtime. I'm sorry, Mr. Officer, that all your friends and family want somebody like me and nobody want you ugly, A. Eh? Period. I'm sorry, oh, my I'm, sorry soul. That, I'm sorry that you're a cuck and your wife hates you. Unfold. That, that part. I'm sorry that I fucked your wife yesterday because I tasted oh. you all over her. Oh, oh. all right. Happy <laughs> Pride Month. We finna get on up out of here, y'all. Look here. I forgot what I was getting ready to say. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Let me know when you're gonna upload this so I could like um, um well, we appreciate y'all for coming here and kicking with us. Y'all already know what to do. Um, make sure if you have not already liked us, please like us on your way out. You know how to get in contact with me if you're looking for me. 
Um, where can you find me? There, Auntie Momo underscore five one two on everything. If you're looking for me, okay. Of course, you know how to find Miss Alki Queen eleven eighteen. If you're looking for her on any of her socials, as well as Jada Smokes, okay. That's what she does. She be smoking and she like that. Okay. Um, we appreciate y'all for coming through here and kicking with us. And yeah, we'll probably see you guys next week, Sunday. I mean, not what is this Saturday. Saturday. Oh my God. You're I Bye. love y'all. Bye. Bye. We'll see y'all Bye. next week. <laughs> <laughs>